Hi guys, I look fancy with my glasses on today, huh? Anyway, so we're just gonna jump right in. Uh, I'm gonna be looking down and I'm probably gonna be lifting this up because that's my notebook and I have everything written down and I wanna make sure that I don't miss anything. What we're gonna be talking about today, and this is the topic that my mom brought this topic up to me and I'm like, oh, I think this would be really great. Handling, dealing with rejection, okay? And I, when I say that, I mean, I know some people when they think about that topic, they just think about what comes to mind is like relationships, like getting rejected or like when you have a crush or when you love somebody or anything like that, it's rejection. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about in general. I'm talking about like um, singing gigs. I'm talking about like job opportunities. I'm talking about career opp opportunities. I'm talking about anything in life to where you run across rejection. I'm talking about relationships as well but i'm talking about everything in general i feel like a lot of people um when it comes to that it's a struggle i'm not gonna lie when i first started off doing like uh like my career and certain things that i was trying to do that is something that i struggle with but um i came up with tips for myself that helped me maneuver so now it's like it doesn't bother me. Like for example, any job I want, I pray and God has has not let me down. So sometimes like when it's like with jobs, right? Before, if I didn't get a job that I really like, I'm not gonna lie, that's discouraging, right? But now where I'm at, it's like if there's a job that I really want it and I don't get it, and I see that you are not selected or um, we decided to go with uh, uh, other candidates that are more qualified, um, it doesn't bother me. You know what I mean? Because it's like, okay, like that they said no, but another job will say yeah. You know, just because I'm not meant for your company, that that's that doesn't mean that I'm going to not be for somebody else. Like I tried out for American Idol like five different times, no lie. Five different times and they told me no every single time, right? Just because they told me no, right? does not mean I'm a bad singer. Now, when I, I was younger when I did that, and it made me question who I was as an artist. And that's when my insecurities came and I didn't really want to, you know, um, really sing. And when people ask me to sing, I get real insecure because I'm like, they told me no. So obviously I'm not doing something right, but, but that's not what it is. You know what I mean? Just because they think that I probably you know, don't have what it takes for those, their show. It's like, I have performed and done done many of other shows or I, you know, tried out for my music group and they told me yes. So it's like that situation for me, just that situation, that show was not for me, but it does not define who I am as an artist, if that makes sense. Okay, so I just wanna throw in that intro, okay? So now we're gonna jump into the tips. So right here, I got five tips for y'all. And I'm telling you, these tips are going to change your outlook and they're going to help you see and deal with re rejection in another light. And I promise y'all that. Cause y'all probably, eh, you know what I'm saying, sis, I don't know, or you know, bro, I don't know, but listen, it helped me. So if it helped me, it's going to help you guys. When I put my videos videos out, I am all about helping others. I am all about doing God work, work, and I am a living testimony. I have been through some stuff, and I have been changing who I am and my mindset. Set, and honestly, that's really, really hard. People don't talk about that. Changing how you view life and completely take that and completely do, do a 360 turn, it is very hard, but it's possible. And I am a living witness. Because the person I am, I am now, I was not that person five years ago. But me learning that, okay, something in my life is something that I'm doing is causing me things not to go my way, right? Everything was a no. Everything was not going my way. All right, Michelle, you just got to sit back and do some self-evaluating to see how can you turn those no's into yeses. So I really hope that these tips help you guys. So after me just saying all that, Let's jump into it. The first thing, this is number one. I put down, not everyone is going to say yes. Not everybody is going to tell you yes, no matter what it is. If it's somebody asking you to get married, if it's a job, if it's anything, anything in life in general, anything, there's so many different categories. There's so many different things I'm talking about in general. I feel like when you get that in your mind and you realize that then it will then it will allow you to handle rejection better 
because not everybody is going to accept you. Not everybody is going to think that you're fit for the position. Not everybody thinks you're going to be fit for the show. Not everybody thinks you're going to be fit for this. That's just how it is. So just know that there's always a possibility for no. I feel like when you prepare yourself and you know that there's a possibility for no, if you get that no, you're going to bounce back. It's not going to be as hard because you know sometimes, you know, people are not going to are not going to tell me yes if they tell you no you have to put in your mind and just change the way you see it so if let's say you wanted to be um let's say you're trying to get into college right i think that's a good example you're trying to get into college and you get a letter right and the letter was like okay well you did not get into the school right so what i would suggest is that instead of saying gosh like being depressed about it i would just think of it as okay it, it could be anything, the dynamics, a word tap, anything, any possibility. If God does not think that's a good fit for you, trust me, he is going to stop it. So the way that I will tell you guys to think about it is, okay, I didn't get accepted into that college, but God knows the reason behind it. God knows why they said no. God knows why that school is not for me. So let me sit back and see what God has for me. That would be a great way to see it like that so now let's go to number two um i said don't allow rejection to define who you are this is major okay this is major i struggle with this like i said i use american idol as, as an example them telling me no so many times and them telling me when they hear me sing songs they were like mm, i don't know you sound the same for all of them like when you sing it seems like you're not really being who you are or when you sing it seems like you're holding back right all that stuff was true, right? But them telling me no, instead of me seeing it as, okay, they're telling me this because they know, they see and know that I'm pretending to be something. This is not who I am as an artist. I took it as they're saying that I suck ass and that I can't sing. That's how I took it as, right? But that's not the case. And that part of my life and that timing it was not God's will for me to be on American Idol. Ever since I was a little girl, I always thought that that was my calling. Like I even have a, a, a plaque where the teacher is like, Maisha Allen, most likely to win American Idol. That's all I saw, right? And it did not work that way, but that's not God's way. It was not God's way. And now I'm still singing and I'm getting gigs and everybody compliments me and all that stuff. So I noticed, my, it was never you you're not the issue you're not so it does not define who you are do not allow rejection to question who you are don't do it let me flip the page um we're gonna go on to number three don't stop trying let me tell you again don't stop trying a lot of people think that something doesn't go their way that they okay Fuck it, I'm not gonna do it because it's not for me. It didn't work out, that means I'm not gonna do it. Or, you know, whatever, I'm not gonna try, I'm not good enough. You stop, you are never going to get to that yes. You gotta keep going. You hear all the no's, eventually you're gonna get a yes and you're gonna be shocked. But you will never know unless you keep trying. Do not give up on anything, no matter what it is. Do not give up on anything, keep going trying so now we're going to go into the fourth one and my mom told me this one and i really really liked it um to make sure you you journal or you write down your internal feelings so if you didn't get something or you were rejected and something didn't go your way right and like i said i'm gonna say it again i'm talking about in general it did not go your way do not internalize that because when you internalize something and you don't express it that's when you start getting sick when i was in high school i was always sick because everything i was going through I did not know how to voice I was how I was feeling. I was internalizing every little thing and it made me sick. I got abscesses. I got all types of stuff. Bronchitis, always sick, always, always something wrong. Do not write down how you're feeling. If you're disappointed, write down, I am disappointed. I am sad right now. Acknowledge it and do not sit in it because if you sit in it, you're, you're stopping yourself for the next opportunity. If you sit in it, you are stopping yourself from the next opportunity. Get up, keep going, keep trying, don't stop. As long as you have breath in your body, you can and will do it. You have to believe in yourself. It's so easy to tell people that. 
And the reason why I'm getting so animated and getting all hyped up is because, because I know how I felt. And now I have that belief in myself. So I want y'all to feel what I feel. I want y'all to believe in yourselves. I want you guys to know that it is possible because I am a living witness and I have shown myself that it is possible. Let me not forget this. You can also do different things like um, yoga, walking, exercising, whatever it is that you do to wind down and cool down and get stress off of you, do that. That will help. That will most definitely help. People don't think it does, but it does. And most definitely journal. I write everything down and it feels good because you can say whatever, cuss, cuss the whole journal out. Ain't nobody gonna judge you because how can God use you? You know, how can God put more opportunities in your way if you're carrying all this disappointment on you, all this guilt on you, all this, I just feeling like a reject on you. You gotta let it off, okay? It got to. Now, the last thing, I don't think this is number five, I guess I'll say that it's number five. I guess I'll, I'll just go ahead and say that. A lot of people do not believe in prayer. Pray. Ooh, talk to God. Honestly, honestly, when I notice that I start, I start talking to God, right? Sorry, people are calling me, but I got to get this message out to y'all. When I noticed that I was frustrated and I started to talk to God. You know how when you feel anxiety, you feel it all in your chest and you just feel like you got like little like tingling sensation all in your body. I don't know if y'all anxiety feels like that, but that's how my anxiety feels. Um, that's how I feel. I feel like that. And then after I pray, I don't feel that no more. After I pray and I give it to God and I get all my frustration out and I pray and I, and I tell God how I'm feeling and I'm honest with my feelings, you gotta be honest. Cause that's the only way I feel like he can help you. You gotta be honest. You gotta let him in. After I do that, I feel better. Or even if you struggle for struggle with rejection, pray God. This is something that I struggle with right now. Rejection. I I don't like rejection. Rejection. I can't handle rejection. It makes me question who I am. It makes me question everything about myself. I need for you to help me be able to handle it. I need for you to, to build the skills in me, the tools in me to help me deal with rejection. And the reason why I'm saying that pray, prayer is so important because God hears you. God hears you and God will see you through it. Sometimes you can't call your, call, call your family members. You can't call your friends. You can't call your counselors. So if you can't do that, then what you gonna do? You have no choice but to lean on God. You have no choice but to trust God to see you through it. Because sometimes you're not going to have nobody around that, uh, around to help you. Sometimes you can't help yourself. You got to lean on God. And my grandmother always told me, I said this in one of my videos, that when you take something to God, you got to leave it there. Don't, don't take it with you. Sarah Jake said that too. Don't take it with you. Leave it there. Leave it there and trust that he's going to help you. Leave it there and trust that he got it. Leave it there and trust that you and him are in this together. So I love y'all very much. Those are the five tips. I promise you, if you apply it to your life, um, you will most definitely see a change and you will most definitely see that you're able to handle um, rejection better because in life, that is full of rejection. You know what I mean? But you gotta believe yourself, believe in yourself and just know you the shit and just believe in yourself that everything is gonna work out according to God's plan for your life um just just know that and i know i'm cussing y'all but I, I i'm trying to get saved but i ain't all the way saved so that's 100 so i love you guys so so much i really hope that this video helps you guys um to anybody that has subscribed please go ahead and drop that below say what's up what's up to me i am very consistent when it comes to uh talking to my subscribers and talking to people that show me love i love connecting with you guys i love hearing y'all thoughts i love hearing everything i love you guys so much uh god bless and have a great weekend i'm out